to get started here first. We'll go ahead and put the, the bead of uh, RTV on this uh, cover now. He did inform me he's not an artist, so we're going to go for effectiveness rather than beauty. Thick enough, do you think? I got feeling thicker. Don't know. If at least we'll know it wasn't thick enough. That's true. I'd probably hit that up just a little bit more. That looks a little thin. Right there? Yeah. We don't want too thick, but we don't want too thin either. This is a commitment, folks. Once we get this going, we can't stop, and we got to do a torque sequence on all this. And that's going to be a royal pita. But, we'll get her done. Because we don't want a lot of this oozing out in, outside of the engine or inside the engine. We want just enough to fill the spaces. And really, that's all this does for. Because the mating surfaces are pretty uh, machined and clean. So we're just looking at fill in machine spaces But I'll probably go ahead and fast forward through this. Please. <laughs> I'll get done sooner. Now when you go to clean the surfaces of the uh, timing cover in the engine, you need to have this white one. I don't know the grit exactly, but uh, it's, it is uh, specified by Ford. So uh, basically what you just need to look for is the white brush like this. It's an abrasive brush, nylon with uh, abrasive and permeated into it. And uh, this will clean it up and not really tear up the surfaces at all. But we'll clean all the uh, RTV off of everything and get it nice and clean. So you want to make sure you do get this uh, and have a die grinder type to actually do the cleaning. That'll be good. Oh, that's sticky stuff compared to other RTV I've used. So the next one was right down there. Here, with two it? valleys.
get her. Yep. And yep. then down at the two more down here for the oil yep. pan. The oil pan. I guess we had enough to do her. I think. Good enough. Alrighty, folks. We do have uh, everything on here, and it slipped right over the crank. Uh, you know, hoping everything works out for the crank. Uh, if not, I might have to do it over again. <laughs> no, we're good. It, it slipped right over. It was a pretty easy job. Everything lined up. The cleaning paid off. Uh, we just slipped it right down carefully. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and start the torque sequence. And it's just a monster. So we're going to go ahead and get that started. Now we're just going through and testing. Uh, make sure we got everything tight. And uh, hitting up the torques. But... Right now, we got the cover on, and we got the main bolts in, so we still have to do the harmonic balancer. Uh, I won't be around for that. I'm sure that I'll get some photographs of that, but regardless, I'll go and explain what that does, because if you see that seal there, it looks like it's sort of open, and it is, because that's a brand new seal, but here's what happens. This new harmonic balancer, we got this all greased up. It's going to slide into that open space on there and it's going to seal everything else up and tighten up that seal. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll torque it on with the old bolt, remove it, and then retorque with the appropriate new bolt that we have right here. So that's the plan later on. But for now, we're still working on the cover and uh, then we just got to start reassembling everything. This is the engine running good. We're just double checking the coolant to make sure that it is uh, measuring appropriately. And uh, looks like uh, Jeff even threw a new motor mount on there. Holy cow, got everything. Torque mount, transmission mount, new motor mount, new front engine rebuild, new VCTs, everything. The only thing we never changed was the uh, injectors. So. Anyway, once we get going here, we'll take her out for a drive, starting with a cold start. Now let's go ahead and start Lulu Bell and see what we got. There we go. Looks like this is a nice little cold start. Got it running. There you go, a little bit of a rev. Man, Lulu Bell sounds great. So, holy cow. That's, man, this engine sounds good. get the seat adjusted the way I want it all righty let me see if Jeff is gonna go and then we'll head out about 20 mile an hour here there's Hannah <laughs> I know she likes that rumble. Yeah. <laughs> like they were in my car. <laughs> what are they doing? So, yeah, see how the uh, exhaust and everything shuts down when wow. you take off the gas? But the intake has a different reaction in some ways, too. 
the intake actually adjusts more than the exhaust. The exhaust will shut down back to zero. Yeah. But the intake is what does a lot of the adjustments. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're just, see how, when I touch the gas just a little? Yeah. How the exhaust changes? Now the exhaust is also controlled by those springs, so it's got a lot of force pushing against it with the oil pressure. Oh, look at all these poor college students walking everywhere. But look at these. Look at the uh, difference, the diff. Mm -hmm. Look how close that is, 0 0.62, 0 0.38. Look how close it is. See the diff ones? Yeah. Those are what is between the desired and the actual. They're doing really good. Pretty little burst from here to there, if that's enough. Otherwise. And at this stop sign, take a right. You'll have a another place you can do it. Well, that sounded nice, didn't it? Yeah. I wonder if Hannah does that. I bet she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell her we put, you know, we, we tested. Tell him Lou does 112 mile an hour. Oh, yeah. gosh. Here we go. Wow. Up to 70. Running good. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.